Hello everybody, I'm out with Kona, the lab mix, two years old. And we are working on his walk. This is actually the first time I've worked on his walk with him. Josh has done all the work prior. And if you remember way back to drop off day, maybe three weeks ago, lots of pulling, lots of lunging, lots of jumping. Couldn't let go of the leash. He was pretty much out of control. Fast forward to today, lots of training later, we've got an off leash walk and it is awesome. If I can take this, tap the tone, say heel, and he walks with me this nicely, I truly can't wait to transfer it to his owners who have been very excited to get him home and start actually taking walks with him that don't involve pulling their arms out of their socket, right? So let's talk about e-collar heel. Obviously I'm not holding onto a leash, so all the training is on this e-collar right here. If you look down, and imagine a strike zone right here. Actually, I'm gonna tap the tone here. Right here to the left and slightly behind your left leg, right here, an imaginary circle. His head should not leave that circle, right? So if it goes too far forward, too far back, too far to the left or behind my legs, that's when your e-collar kicks in, right? If he stays in this position, you don't turn your e-collar on, you just say, good boy, right? It's sort of like how you avoid getting a speeding ticket by going the speed limit, and you know how to avoid getting one. It's the same concept. So as long as he's walking nicely, universally heel is taught at the left side, literally means their head is at the level of your heel, okay? So all the training has been done, now we just maintain. We maintain by holding him accountable for staying in that position. Look at him, he's doing amazing. Amazing. I love it. We're going to find a pocket of shade because it's hot. And we're gonna show you his stationary commands and then maybe show you his recall. But the most important thing is that he's able to be out here completely off leash listening to me brand new handler. Check my tone there. See what I mean? Like he, I don't know why he thought we were stopping, but he lost that position. So I tapped my tone twice and he joined back up with me. So if I stop, good boy, he stops. He puts himself in a sit. Now, if he didn't put himself in a sit, you could simply say sit or stay. Okay. Very nice job, buddy. Down. Okay. Watch this. Okay, that's the training literally <laughs> in front of your eyes. For whatever reason, he didn't wanna lay down. Maybe it's because it's the first time with me outside and he needs to see if I'm gonna hold him accountable just like Josh does. Whatever the reason, he just heard it but didn't comply. I came in with a low number, number nine, one click, and he said, oh yeah, that's right, I need to listen. And he laid down. That is a perfect example of how we use this collar. You ask the command, they either do or they don't. If he does, you say, good boy, and you don't touch the collar. If he doesn't, then you can click and ask again and go from there. Good boy. And now we have him in a down. Um, the way that you keep this down stay really rock solid is by holding him accountable. So if he makes a mistake, you would say N-O, click, and put him back in the down. If he does a good boy, make sure you tell him, good boy, thumbs up. See how that reassured him right there? He's like, oh, I'm doing the right thing. Thank goodness he puts his hip over. So this down stay, you literally can use anywhere. It's so practical, like kitchen, living room, back deck, car, vet waiting room, grooming waiting room, literally anywhere you take him, you can use this down stay. And he actually will hold it and he will stay as long as you have that accountability factor. If he believes that just like the red light camera or the speeding ticket, if he believes there's somebody holding him accountable, he will listen. Okay, let's try a recall. Recall is obviously getting him from point A to U, point A to B. Um, and we like to do that with the tone here. It's the T button on the side paired with the verbal. Um, if he's just out in your backyard and it's 11 o'clock at night and you don't wanna use the verbal, you can just start tapping the T button. All right, okay, here we go. Come, good boy. And then don't forget the praise. Bam, right to me. Good boy. Nice job. 
so prays as he's on the way and then he comes and stays good job buddy he doesn't come and jump he doesn't run past me he doesn't come and then arc around and leave again he comes and stays all right now from here we can either release him we can put him in a stay we can go back into our walk it's up to us he's waiting for directions so i'm going to show you how we go back into our walk we're going to say the word heal tap the tone a couple times and start walking that last step is something i notice a lot of people forget to do they say heal they tap the tone and then what do they do they just stand there you have to start walking or else he's going to say what are we doing he's waiting for you heal start walking tap the tone again if he's a little slow and he joins up with you so that's exactly how we do our join up good boy that's a good boy buddy good job doing so good listening He is ready to go off property. Okay, look, see how he's starting to go forward a little bit? Okay, what I'm gonna do, if I notice him start to go forward, and it's because we're going back to the house. Like, he knows we're going back, so he's like, oh, I'm excited, I wanna go faster. What I'm gonna do is lean back. Oh, he didn't fall for it, good boy. If he would have shot forward there, I click, right? But he's, he's being good boy right now, he's not gonna fall for it. <laughs> Such a good boy, okay. I'm gonna stop here. Good. That's another test you can do is if you feel like your dog is pushing, you can just abruptly come to a stop and if they keep on going because they're not paying attention, you can click the e-collar, okay? Stay. Good job. And I'm actually gonna try one more thing before I release him. I really wanna see if I can get a D-O-W-N on command without clicking the e-collar. Um, let's see if he'll listen. Down. Yay, good boy. Oh, he says, you know what? I'd rather not. So look, I'm gonna click right here and he lays down. <laughs> We're gonna try that again. For some reason, he's testing me on the down. And you know what, I'm glad because his owners are gonna see this and they're gonna see how to work through a dog who's testing them on the down command. So we're gonna recall again. Come, good boy, sit, nice job, stay. He's gonna do it automatically, you smart boy. That's fine. When I say stay, if they put themselves in a down, I'm fine with that. All right, he's earned it. Let's give him a release. Kona, break, good job.